So what's up, YouTuber? So today uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to multitasking with Note 9. So and I will tell you how to connect uh, the phone uh, from the Note 9 to the uh, your, to your laptop. So using the uh, uh, Bluetooth. So uh, basically, I mean, you can use it for recording <coughs> your own screen. Uh, using the laptop or if you want to put it in your television like Samsung television you can do that so let's start open up all right <clears throat> so I will tell you how to use a lot of applications simultaneously all right so you can okay this is one of the uh, website you can go to the uh, this uh, functional button you go to pop up so it will go up then you can go to the uh, so let's say line you have a line <clears throat> so basically there are like two ways of doing it first you're gonna use a split screen view then you can use this so you have like two applications that you can use for uh, multitasking right so you only have like two screen but now you want to have more than two how do you do that so let's close everything <clears throat> but some application might not be able to do this but uh, most of the application you can do a multitasking let's say you want to open up this and then um, you want to upload your uh, uh, photos you know while while you uh, <clears throat> while you packing it up to the online because uh, with the Google Photos sometimes uh, you have to uh, 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 pack it up you know I mean, uh, we'll put it in the background and we'll back up by itself, right? See, you can see it's uploading, right? You can make it small and it will still upload your uh, data. And let's say you want to open up a f Firefox, right? See, so there are like a lot of applications that you can use for uh, multitasking, all right? You can use like... <coughs> three at the same time even though you uh, if you don't use it you can just click this you minimize it but it's still working in the background as you can see it in in here <coughs> see it's still uploading right it says it's uploading see it's uploading the uh, your photos so you can always minimize it in the background see it's pretty small and you can open up a YouTube video and uh, as you're doing this, basically you can still um, you can still uh, play play it. Okay, let's say I do this. Let's open up the volume. All right. Let's say you want to open up another application. You can still do it. You can still. I mean, it's it will still play in the background. Let's say you want to open up <coughs> a contact. You want to go to contact. You can still do it. See. So there are like a lot of uh, applications that you can open up at the same time. Maybe I would use like three because it will not be uh, available. I mean, you can't access everything with this tiny screen, but you can always play this. You can always play this one. Welcome back, everybody. To home. See, you can still hear the voice. Well, I'm looking for an application for me to open up, right? So you can open up a, a Slack, whatever uh, application or WhatsApp, you can still use this. I'm not sure like how many <coughs> application that you can uh, that you can use, you know, that you can put it here. I mean, obviously you can put like one, two, three, four, five, six because it has like a eight gigabyte of RAM. So may, that's why it can do uh, some multitasking, you know. So if you open this up, as you open up this up. I'm going to give you the top stories making news in our industry today. You can use this. Hit the like button and let's start. So you can chat two screen at the same time. You can open up like many, many applications using this. You can put like, where's my line? First are going to have a significant advantage moving forward. The game theory is that some country is going to embrace this in a very, very serious way, whether it's China, Russia, the United States, somewhere in Europe or South America, somebody's See? going to do it. So and while you're like multitasking, you can still hear to the YouTube. Plus. 
if you minimize it, then you you will not hear it. Right. Or you so can just put it like this, to, um, you know, and, it, it. Every other and you can still type camera, and you right? can still listen country to country your YouTube saying, music. Like, Singapore, Singapore saying, Look, See, bring it on, right? We're going to you can still type, you know, you clarity, like, it, it doesn't really matter if you go to here. See, you can still like type everything. I mean, you know? well, yeah, I mean, and if you, you want to reply using this, you can, it's not see? Wrong. Uh, the main takeaways were so you can still type, you know, basically, so and it will work normal, so that's how you do it, okay, next, announces that they're going all in <coughs> Bitcoin. so Bitcoin let's say, if you want to minimize it, you so can just click this, and you can open up, price open up everything in here, you know, it's very, very convenient, right, so you can have so many application up here, you know, see, voila, See, you can move it everywhere on the screen. All right, the next uh, tips and tricks that I wanna show you, which is, um, I think it's pretty pretty interesting, is <clears throat> you can put your, uh, you can put your uh, Note 9 into the television. So how do you do this? First, you have to change to the, uh, you have to change the mode, um, the power mode. Uh, basically, you have to go to the smart view so if you click the smart view, it will say you have to turn off the power saving. I I used uh, uh, uh like like low low power, so I have to change change it. So you go to here, and then you go to the uh, optimize. So while while you're waiting, you can always listen to your YouTube. Isn't that interesting? Is See, it's still working on the background, but you can no still open up your YouTube, or you can still do chatting. I think. So it, it, I mean, this Note 9 is pretty, pretty amazing. <clears throat> all right, um, all right, so I will go to here and I'll go to Smart View and I can, this is my laptop, all right? I already connected. So you just can mirror it to the screen. Yep. So you can see it here. All right, um, where was it? Hold on. Ah, it was working. All right, so you just go to here, uh, choose this. I forgot to open up. I don't think you didn't, I mean, you use the Bluetooth. I'm sure like you can connect it to your device easily. You go to Smart View and wait until it's here. I'm not sure why it's not working. All right, so now it's popped up. So you can just click TomTom Tom, and you can see it here. You click, press the yes here see it's connected to your screen all right so if you want to focus up it's right here you know uh, but you have to use the phone see if you want to change everything I mean you can always use your phone for a bigger pictures if you put it on the uh, television it will become bigger let's say you want to play a YouTube video it will go bigger into what we're getting into i mean in public, i mean and then like said, um let me know down below if you zoom it <coughs> i think you can uh play it like you if know full screen you disagree see please let us know but let's dig in a little deeper to it so i mean this is really useful totally if you need like, 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 like a bigger person. screen and you want to meaning that uh, and you want to play it on your television let's show let's say your screen um uh, let's say you want to use a remote control, you can just use your phone. Singapore doesn't have its arms All right. wide open yet, but it is definitely so a lot closer to there's an option for you to pause the sharing or set the phone aspect ratio. Say so if you want to click this, you can change up the uh, into the full screen or 16 by 9, right? So if you just buy 16 by 9, then it will become like smaller. So it's always uh it's always useful if you if you use uh this feature if <clears throat> you need like a bigger screen <clears throat> all right so and you can still use the multitasking i believe all right so you can still play it on the One background the developed jurisdictions for crypto businesses worldwide and all right sought to give innovation more so you can you can still out, use all these features and you can like minimize it all you want all right see 
there we go. I hope uh, you find this uh, really, really useful. And <clears throat> and for a YouTuber like you guys, you can always uh, it's it's locked. So I'm not sure how to open it. So basically, if you um, if you're a YouTuber and you wanna show something uh, using your phone, you can use this one for a record it on your screen if you have the software. Mm. I hope you find it really useful. Thank you for listening. Stay strong and always question everything.